Alright guys, coming at you today, two methods of making marble bases. This has got to be the quickest and the easiest thing we can do for marble. And if you know a better way, put it down in the comments. I'm going to pin that, we're going to share it, and we're going to make sure that everybody gets the most out of their hobby time. And here we go. I'm going to do this with an airbrush, but you can easily get the same effect with just a couple rattle cans. For the first method, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using this. It's a scribing tool, and what it is used for usually is cutting panel lines and scale models. This hook gives you a nice little trough. You scrape it across, and it makes the panel line in between armor sections deeper and gives you better detail. When applied to a base, you can make a nice tiled effect by simply cutting in rather than being additive and putting something on top. For the second method, what I'm going to do is actually paint the marble on, and instead of cutting a trough in there and giving it a physical texture, we'll just come back in later on with a straight edge and get a nice crisp line in there to make it look like they're actual tiles. It's simpler, it's faster, but it's probably not going to look quite as good as scribing that line and getting physical texture on the base. But I'll let you guys be the judge of that. Let me know which one you like better at the end of this. First things first, let's go ahead and clear off our space. Make sure you got some good room. Grab your disinfectant wipe, your bases, a scribing tool or an X-Acto, a straight edge, and some sandpaper. Now while you're making your lines, what you want to do is get that straight edge on there really nice and firm. Make sure it doesn't slip so you don't get two lines. That'll really mess up the look. Then after you get the first one down, come in perpendicular to it and go ahead and make your second line. These tiles can be as big or as small as you'd like. Moving on from there, grab your disinfectant wipe and start gently pulling from every angle. What you're looking for is the fibers to start separating and it'll give you an effect similar to this. You want some of those gaps, but you want the strands to remain intact. And coming up after that, it's time to grab the sandpaper. Because if you showed up with marble that had a bumpy surface like this, it probably assume you went to the bargain basement. Just take a little time and make sure you get all the dust off after this step. That looks sharp. This little guy, definitely worth it. It's cheap. Um, you could probably do it again with an X-Acto knife, but actually having the physical trench in the tile itself really makes it look better. And onto the very first paint. This is Styler Res Primer Black. You can use any black you want. I just prefer to put a primer down first. It helps with the adhesion and it prevents some chipping later on. If you're going to go ahead and use a rattle can, make sure you're in a well-ventilated area. Indoors is not ideal. And then make sure you're doing light passes so you don't flood the surface. This step is entirely subjective and entirely personal. I wanted to have a little bit of gold veining going on, but you could do some green, you could do blue, you could put some silver in there, or you could do nothing. You could just do black and white. The trick to getting this effect to work out is to get this wipe nice and tight up against your base. What you want is for the fibers to actually catch the paint and stop it. This allows some of the paint through, but the paint that's trapped leaves behind the appearance of veining in the surface. In this case, it's leaving behind the black. Go ahead and give that a couple potatoes to dry, and then put your mask back on top I'm going to be using a Liquitex white ink. It lays down nice and smooth and thin. I'll give myself a couple coats on this to build up opacity, similar to what I was talking about when I said to go light on the rattle can. Ooh, ah. Now you may notice we've still got this one, pure gold. We're going off the reservation a little bit. I'm going to put the cloth back over and we're going to attempt to sponge this on. Is it going to work? Probably not, but I want to know. And you know what? If you never try, you'll never find out. Safe to say that's a epic fail. Um, best thing about painting though, we're just going to put some black back over it. And while I got the black out, I'm going to go ahead and do my base rims. The contrast between the white top and the black rim is going to really make it pop. 
and really help that effect sell itself. Excuse me while I fix this base real quick. Alright, now we've got the secret sauce. This is gloss varnish. This is going to give those bases an extremely reflective surface, similar to what you'd see in like a polished stone. For the actual application, you want a good uniform coat. Make sure this coat is nice and solid. You want a little bit of thickness, but you do not want to dump this stuff on there. This definitely should not look like somebody's round table they're refinishing and pouring epoxy over. Just letting that stuff drip all over the edges. No way. In the grim dark future, they're out here with their buffing machines, making sure this floor is spotless. Now that our bases are dry, we're going back to the brush. Get a little bit of black on there, and really get it down in those recesses. You don't have to be too worried about this step, because if you do mess up, you can just wipe it right off. That's the beauty of a gloss coat. Now for our freehand base, what I'm going to do is grab the same straight edge that I used for etching and just press it on really nice and tight against the base. Load up my brush, make sure I'm pressed firmly up against the side, and just pull straight down towards myself. I'm going to do that again at a cross pattern, but I'm going to flip this straight edge over so I don't smudge any of that wet paint up against this base. As you can see, that second line wound up a little bit thicker, and I'm just going to compensate by coming back in here and thickening up the first line. I was not joking when I said this was a quick, easy way to do marble bases. You don't want to gloss coat them again, otherwise that black you laid down is going to wind up super shiny. I'm using a very matte black, so the recess is actually going to look a little bit duller than the surface. At this point, the only thing we're missing is some beautiful models to go on top. That'll have to come later. So what do you guys think? Do you like the scribed lines? Nice, thin, concise, or do you like saving the time and just going freehand?